this agreement with Lima Airport Partner uh, goes for us in, in two big directions. Uh, one first is to uh, increase our footprint. I mean, although we've been through a huge crisis in travel retail over the past 18 months, uh, we still believe in this industry. I mean, there are all signs everywhere that uh, at some point recovery will be there, the appetite for traveling will be there. And uh, we strongly believe that uh, consumers, uh, travelers, uh, will still visit our shops in airports. So we want, and we are determined to grow our footprint globally. And uh, Latin America in general uh, was for us an area of development. So we've been working quite a bit over the past few years to uh, be prepared to get to know the market, to be known from the players in the region. Uh, and that's why we are very happy with this deal because it comes after another deal that we've done in, in Santiago de Chile to open a food service business, which is now about to start with the opening of the new terminal in, in the airport, uh, working with Nuevo Pudahuel, uh, the airport concessionaire uh, in Santiago. This is a purely food service business that we start with a, a local uh, partner. And now we have this deal with uh, Lima Airport Partners and Frapo to operate the uh, duty-free concession at the beginning of next year. So the first target for us was to grow footprint. Uh, the second element uh, probably is to bring Lagarda Travel Retail to the region, offer a different brand, maybe a different way uh, to look at the duty-free core business, uh, a different offering, different products, um, maybe something more local, where we put a lot of emphasis on uh, local producers, local brands, and what is very important is that the, the model that we agreed upon with Lima Airport Partner, this uh, uh, profit sharing model, will enable us to bring all these uh, to the consumer uh, in Lima. And this will be uh, delivered through the ADR duty free brand, uh, which we believe will be most appropriate for the market. So, two elements one, uh, bring uh, extend our footprint in the region, uh, and second, bring this uh, differentiation uh, to the duty-free market in Lima, and maybe later on somewhere else in the region. Perfect, thank you so much. Um, and just one more question for you. Uh, what is the message the team is looking to send to those involved in the channel? And does the team expect this concession agreement will initiate a broader call to action and permanent change across the industry? Well, what is truly new in this deal is this profit sharing model. Uh, this, this is something that has been discussed for a while in the industry, but never came to fruition with big, you know, on, the, on, the, on the larger scale. I mean, we've had uh, profit sharing models in place in various contracts in various countries, uh, but to a much, more, much smaller degree. Here in Lima, for the first time, we embark in a long-term, very long-term deal, uh, with an airport based on this uh, profit sharing model. I think everybody agrees in the industry that the balance between the operator and the landlord had to be challenged, had to be questioned. I mean, I've been speaking about that in the travel retail industry for years, if not decades, as far as I'm concerned, uh, in various uh, forums. Uh, and the message we are hoping to convey is that profit sharing can indeed be a win-win model. And we are not only talking about percentage of sales, but about the absolute value that can be generated out of a concession agreement. The industry has been over the years very much focused on percentage of sales. So what is, is it 30, is it 40, is it 50%? Not looking truly at the absolute value that could be generated out of a given footprint in an airport. So. We hope and we believe that with this, uh, I would say, first timer contract in, in Lima, we can showcase something, uh, play our part in uh, opening the market to new models, uh, to new horizons in a way. Uh, and we hope to share our experience once this will be live in Lima. Obviously, uh, there will not be a one size fits all. We know that each airport is different. Uh, we know sometimes we have to adjust to the specificities of a given country or a given market. 
Um, and profit sharing may not be relevant in 100% of the cases, but we believe that uh, this example will show something different uh, and that it will be something that uh, everybody will be very interested to look at. <music>